Quick note from future Cameron or past Cameron, this video is going to cover the circle of fifths, major and minor, and how to use it in your songwriting. It turned into this giant, giant task. So this video is just going to cover the circle of fifths and the major keys. And quickly, hopefully will be part two and three, which will cover the minor side of the circle of fifths and then how to use it to find chords and expand your songwriting. Okay, let's get into it, as they say. Lately, I've had the privilege of working with some great new songwriters. The biggest question they have is, once inspiration fails, what comes next? The circle of fifths is a great tool to find some options when you need to keep going. It's not as mysterious as some people seem to think. So let's find out how it works and how it can help you with your writing. An easy way to think of this is think of a clock. We'll put C at the top, which has zero sharps and flats. Then from C, we'll count seven half steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which lands us on G, which is a perfect fifth, and that'll be our next stop. You notice we're at one o'clock, and G has one sharp, F sharp. To get to the next stop, on our clock, we're going to go up a, another perfect fifth from G, which is seven half steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we land on D. And D, as you can see, has two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. All right, now it's your turn. So here we are on D, and I want you to figure out where our next stop on the circle is gonna be. I put a keyboard up here for you. And remember, we're gonna go up a perfect fifth, which is seven half steps. I'll leave this up for a minute, or you can pause the video and figure it out, and be back in a second. All right, so I hope you got the key of A, and how many sharps are we gonna have now? Three, that's right. Can you tell me which ones they are? Yep, it's F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. So I hope you're noticing a pattern here that these sharps are always in the same order. It always starts with F sharp, and then C sharp, and then G sharp. So it's always F sharp first, C sharp's next, then G sharp, and uh, if you never learned this, here is a uh, fun little way to remember the order of sharps. Bad cats go down alleys eating bugs. Moving on, we come to the key of E with four sharps. You know what they are. And then the key of B with five sharps. Hopefully you know what those are. Now we come to the bottom of our clock. And things start to be a little different. For the first time, our perfect fifth, seven half steps, has landed us on a black note, F sharp. And we are in a place where we are at six sharps. We need to make a decision here. Do we continue on with sharps, one more key, or do we switch to flats? I prefer switch to flats here. F sharp and G flat are the same notes and G flat has six flats. So since we're into kind of new territory here, let's uh, work the next one out together. So we are now on G flat, and we're gonna go up a perfect fifth. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven half steps, and that brings us to D flat. Now this is where our clock analogy starts to fall apart a little bit. Because from this point on, we're going to be subtracting flats. So when we were in G flat, we had six. And now in D flat, we have five. And we'll be subtracting one as we go to each next stop on the circle. OK, your turn again. We are on D flat. And my perfect fifth above D flat is 
if you said A flat, you are correct. And how many flats? Four, remember, because we're subtracting now as we go around the circle this way. And the flats do have an order, just like the sharps do. They obey the same rules. If you notice, if you read them backwards, it's the order of sharps. So the order of sharps backwards. They also, if you read them normally, they spell the word bead, B-E-A-D. That gives you the first four. And then you just kind of have to remember G, C, and F. I never found a good mnemonic for that. Okay, so let's wrap up the major keys here. We have E flat with three flats, B flat with two flats, and the key of F with one flat. So we just follow the same rules that we had, and this brings us full circle with the major keys.